comics challenge this is day 51 I remembered that because yesterday was day 50 and I had no idea I knew it was coming close but I didn't realize yesterday was day 50 so today is going to be an episode reflecting on my past 50 days but before I do that let's uh, go back and look on what happened yesterday um, I do apologize firstly because I don't have any footage because um, Yesterday, I thought I would try out doing a live stream by Instagram, uh, which I did, and I think it was semi-successful. There was 22 people who jumped in through about the half hour that I did it. I'll fix that. There we go. Actually, sorry, little side note. I've got a new mount on my car, which is a little bit further back than where my other mount was, so I'm noticing that I'm not as in your face anymore, which is good, but now I'm trying to find like the right angle. So. Yeah, less in your face, Chris. I don't know, is that a good thing? You tell me. So, um, you can probably tell I'm a bit chipper today. Um, the stress has lifted, things are going well at work, things are going well at home. Um, knock on wood. That's not wood, that's a steering wheel, but it's close enough. Um, back to last night. So, decided I wanted to do a live stream. Um, at the same time, I wanted to film the video, but. Um, was, from what I'm able to understand, was unable to film at the same time. Uh, when I finished the live stream, it gave me the option to save the video. I don't know where it's saved to. I'm assuming it's like an archive on my Instagram. Um, I was hoping that it would mean that it would save to my phone. Um, but I've been unable to find it. So, uh, if anyone knows anything about that, please let me know. Otherwise, I might have to try and invest in maybe another cheap phone or something, or a cheap a camera, I would preferably a camera that I can actually use to um, properly film this stuff rather than using my phone all the time. Um, that way I can film whilst also doing the live stream, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, so anyway, I did the live stream, it was a lot of fun. Um, I just put a little bit of music on in the background because otherwise it was just super quiet. Um, and people popped in, a few people said hello. Um, then I've used, well, I've watched people on these Instagram live feeds and I've noticed that there definitely is sometimes a delay between when people send a message and I receive it and, um, you know, when that answer does pop up um, or when I actually talk. I think it's like, maybe like a 30 to 60 second delay maybe um, anyway it was fun I enjoyed doing it um, I definitely want to do it again but the downside is I lose footage for these videos which I suppose isn't a bad thing these are just sort of vlog updates anyway but it was nice to have some of that footage um, I still do have some stuff on the iPad I need to get on to here um, once I finish the type pencils on two of those pages I'll be posting on here anyway um, but yeah it was fun, it was an experience. I feel like if I make that a more regular thing, more people will start to join in and more people will chat. Um, and it's just like a good 30 minute live episode of me just doing things. Um, I did also contemplate with the idea of actually just doing it via YouTube and doing a live video on YouTube. Um, I've got a different following on YouTube, um, which is you guys, um, compared to what I have on Instagram. So I don't know, I'm sort of conflicted like, It'd be nice to reach out more to my Instagram followers in, as, with videos, whereas I'm already reaching out to you guys every day doing these videos. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to try and find a balance, but it'd be nice to, to be able to do both um, effectively. But otherwise, I finished my 30 minutes, I'm half page done on uh, page six. Yes, sorry, I had to think what page I was up to. On page six, which is great. Um, happy where I'm at in this current position in the challenge um, yeah after that I just did a little bit of work I had to return some client emails um, I had to do um, some updates on a couple of things um, but once that was done I did a little bit more drawing um, I've been doing a couple of like nice-ish finish pieces um, that I'm gonna scan in and I don't know what I'll, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with them 
probably going to use them mostly for a sketchbook in the future because uh, I want to uh, kickstart a sketchbook sometime this year just to raise a little bit of funds for myself and catch up on some debt but also you know collect all my work together as well and um, you know, have other people enjoy it hopefully enjoy it uh, the, the concept is it's going to be called I, I set this up last year called ink splatter uh, which is a reflection of the name of the um, video podcast I used to do on this channel um, and it's just black and white um, ink pictures like all my ink to work um, something I'm quite proud of is my inking ability and um, I want to showcase that so yeah um, where was I? Alright. Yeah, so I was working on a picture on that. And, yeah. So, 50 days have been and gone. Uh, it's been quite a journey so far. Um, I think, I don't think I've ever really done this in past videos. I think it's probably a good idea to look back now and sort of get a rough idea of where I was when I began this and where I am now. And, um, how content I am with it, am I happy with the way things are going, um, would I do anything differently, etc, etc. Um, so, I started this challenge in, I want to say February, it was probably February, so excuse me, let's have some coffee here. So, I started this challenge around the same time a few other people started this challenge, um, namely, uh, you got Josh. Um, Joshua Kemble, you've got Marshall Lee, um, Kesh, I believe his name is, um, there's a few others, um, I think Art of Carter is doing one, I don't know if I've seen his videos, but I've seen him posting some stuff in the group, um, there's a few people sort of revitalizing and getting back into the challenge, which is great, um, and that got me excited about doing it, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it as well. Uh, at this stage, when I began, I only had, I think it was three pages of Monkey Junk um, written um, by Lee. So, created by myself, and we together put um, a big treatment together of how the story pans out, and then he puts it into a script format for me to draw, uh, just because I have more faith in his writing than I do in my own. Um, so... I know I spent the first couple of weeks like trying to look back. It's tr I'm trying to remind myself like why am I only six pages in? Um, but I'm remembering that when I first started this challenge, I wanted to read on the characters. I wanted to I wanted the artwork in this book to reflect more my art style now, um, and hopefully see more progression to what I'd done the year prior to that. Um, and I think I can say that I've achieved that at least with my characters. Um, one of the things that I still feel like I'm lacking in doing, looking now, is backgrounds. Um, I'm using a lot of the same elements, uh, just as space fillers, and I need to start learning more. Um, and saying that, I actually just backed a fantastic book by, uh, I think it's the Etherington Brothers, um, and it's, called, it's a book called How to Think when you draw. It's a big 200 page tutorial book on just different drawing elements and stuff. They have all these resources free online but um, to have it all in book form would be absolutely amazing because I can access it whenever I need to. Um, so yeah, I definitely need to work on my backgrounds more and I know I, I said that in past episodes and I don't know whether it was just a matter of laziness or whether I just sort of forgot because I was getting into the groove too much but I have stopped focusing on background work uh, so that's something I know I need to address again especially as we're moving into um, the new dimensions very soon like in maybe five or six pages uh, you'll find that we'll be in the door dimension and that's going to be a completely different world to the world we live in and I suppose I've been using the excuse of um, He's on planet Earth, and planet Earth is meant to be a bit boring and drab, so I haven't been spending as much time on it, but looking at other people's art, and looking at comics, um, Andrew McLean, who I mentioned the other day, um, who I recently discovered, um, I love the way he draws his backgrounds, just on basic panels, uh, so I really want to do the same. One of the other things I'm noticing that I'm really struggling with, and I think this is going to reflect back on me doing digital pencils more tightly, as I mentioned yesterday, um, I 
feel like I'm not utilizing my page as much. When I'm drawing my scenes, I'm trying to really emphasize the character rather than the background sometimes. Um, and I'm too focused on making the character large and filling that space when I could be using that for other elements. So, I've got a bit of research to do. I think I'm going to try and pick up a couple of comics in the next couple of weeks and do some more research. Um, look at how others do it and be very focused in the type of uh, study that I'm doing um, when I'm looking at the books. But yeah, I feel... Um, I'm happy with how the pages are coming out. I'm happy with the style. But there's definitely a feeling of I can be doing a lot more. I can make these pages a lot better. And I really want to strive to do that. I want when people pick this up and start reading it um, I want them to be wowed I want I want them to feel like they can learn from me as an artist when they look at my pages you know that's sort of the ultimate goal now um, that's always how I've learned is looking at other people's art and um, copying and adapting from them so it'd be awesome if I could do the same for others so I really need to get kick my ass a bit more and really focus on some things uh, there's definitely an element there of, you know, within the challenge itself, I want to do my 30 minutes, and within that 30 minutes, I want to be as productive as possible. And to me, being productive as possible means getting pages done. And, I mean, I'm getting good feedback on the pages, and that's great. Um, but maybe looking forward into the next however many days, and knowing that I'm a little bit ahead, too, on my pages... Um, Maybe it's worth me actually laying out more of a stricter timeline throughout my week to go, okay, well, you can spend um, Monday and Tuesday as study days to do some art study to benefit Monkey Junk, um, you know, with, with the grand goal of focusing on you know, things that I need to improve on to make the comic better, and then the rest of those days, penciling, inking, and um, lettering. Like, I think that's doable. Five days of actual solid work on the book and then um, two days of study. That might be something that I need to adopt. Um, because, I, yeah, this challenge is focused around making the comic. So I suppose it's just trying to convince myself that studying and researching and practicing as an artist is of a benefit to my comic in itself um, and I'm still drawing every day I'm drawing my own things but if I'm drawing directly to aid you know the betterment of my book that's even better I suppose but yeah um, things are going good in, in that regard I suppose I just got to keep at it you know I'll get better over time uh, but I, I feel like it's I'm glad that I'm noticing these things. If I wasn't noticing these things, I'd just be using the same, um, using the same things all the time within my comics, and they would start to look boring and drab. And um, I like to see progression in comics. I really do, and I think a lot of people like to see that. I like to be able to pick up a comic and see, yeah, and look at the first page compared to the last page and see growth between that. Um, I also think it's amazing artists to keep such consistency in their books uh, but when you can see progression like that I think it's fantastic because it shows you that even the artists that you admire are still learning and growing all the time um, and then you know, there's also comics is just such a huge medium that I don't think I'll ever stop learning about it there's always going to be new elements and new um, new rules and things like that that I'm, I'm going to learn and um, that's going to happen by picking up books and you know, reading books about making comics as well as reading comics themselves. Um, there's a new, well, new, there's a YouTube channel which I recently discovered called, I think Strip Panel Naked or Panel Strip Naked or something like that. Um, and they actually take panels from comics and fully break them apart and explain why these panels work. Or um, I watched one recently on Andrew McLean about his pacing. So that was really cool and that's what got me onto the YouTube channel so I'll subscribe to that and hopefully I'll be watching a few more of those videos over time um, just trying to think of what else to um, mention yeah I think overall like I am happy with how the 50 days have gone 
the last 20 or so days have probably been more of a struggle, more, more effort to get motivated to do the comic. And it's more so just that's outside influences affecting uh, my mood or affecting my energy levels. So, you know, work's been quite busy, so it's been hard to be motivated to come home from work to just want to work on my comic. But I think it's actually good because the habit that I've developed doing this means that the stress that I have at work, I can just exert onto the page. And I don't know what it is about drawing for me. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, whether it's penciling or inking or just doodling. It helps me get that stress out somehow. It's, it's almost like a, a release for me. Um, so it's been great because if I'm having a stressful day, I'll do a bit of drawing and I can go to bed with an eased mind. And usually, like I remember last year when I wasn't drawing as much, like there would be nights where I'd stay up for a couple, it'd take me hours to get to sleep because I'm too busy thinking about what's going on at work and the stresses and everything else. Um, and I shouldn't be doing that. I mean, work's important to me and I like my job and, uh, you know, being in charge of my department, yeah, it holds a lot of responsibility. But when I get home, I need to be able to let go of that. And I think I'm finally able to do that you know, thanks to the challenge as well. So um, it's great. The, the benefits of this challenge have been um, really good for me this year. Um, I'm super thankful I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to leave it here because I'm nearly at work. Um, I think that was a good sort of reflection of the 50 days. Um, I'm definitely excited for what the next 50 days has to offer, but I definitely think I'm going to be taking a step back to look at what I can do to change my... Um, my methods and what I can do to learn a little bit more while I'm in the challenge so let's just see how that goes if I forget if you guys notice that I'm not doing my study or research and don't really mention doing backgrounds again please feel free to mention it in the comments give my give me a kick up the bum and say hey man you know how's that background practice going that'd be awesome I'd really appreciate that uh, otherwise I'm just gonna keep slogging on and getting these comics out and um, Hopefully you guys are liking them. Um, I know a couple of you who watch these videos are over on my Patreon. Um, so please go, like, Patreon's definitely, it's one of an, it's such an interesting social media platform where um, a lot of people will like what you're doing, but you don't get as much feedback as you would in other areas. So, you know, feel free to leave me feedback whether you like it, whether you don't like it, you know, if you're excited to see where the comic's going, um, if you've got any theories and things like that, um, if you just want to, you know, start discussion with me, go for it, yeah, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys, that goes for Instagram and Facebook and everything as well, you know, I love to start discussion, I love to have a chat to you guys, that's why I love YouTube, because you guys are so active, um, I, I wish, I wish that was the same across the board with all the social medias, uh, but we'll get there, hopefully, you know, build up that fan base and uh you know <clears throat> generate more interaction more interest in what i'm doing it'd be awesome um because this is what i want to do so yeah all right i'm gonna go day 51 is done day 52 is tonight so um i'll probably do another live stream on instagram so keep an eye out on that um otherwise i'll catch you guys tomorrow's episode bye